Mato Grosso is the only Brazilian state formed by three ecosystems, the Amazon forest, the Cerrado, and the Pantanal. The possibility of allowing sportive hunting in restricted areas has been studied. The proposal moved the community and on a public audience promoted by the legislative power, the argument produced passionate discussion. Worry with the people who live in the Pantanal's region, the ecological paradise, in the very heart of Brazil. The animal doesn't have a home, a specific area to stay. Today you'll be here on my farm, tomorrow on a neighbor's farm, or another farm perhaps. He belongs to Pantanal, he walks throughout the region. If they allow the hunting activities, it will be the end of Pantanal. Our sons, our grandsons won't be able to see anything. They will see pictures or something like that. There are 200 men to cover inspections. We're talking 906,000 square kilometers. Since Mato Grosso is the fifth largest state in Brazil, inspection is definitely a problem. How does it feel to be a hunter? What are the feelings of the hunter? What about the prey? Instead of the gun, the camera. This is a flashlight hunt. Here the hunters light the countryside with the powerful flashlights. When they see the animal, they aim a beam light. By the brightness, the prey stops and takes precious seconds to start a reaction. The necessary time, more than enough. If the camera was a gun, the prey would have been shot. It could have never escaped. Each animal reacts its own different way. The animal hesitates, gets hypnotized, runs towards the light, along the tracks. It stops and escapes but remains within target range. His luck is that it's only our camera lenses. Camera lenses which allow us to check the size of our target. Exposed, helpless, frightened. The scared face, reaction to danger. What it looks like a friendly hug is a motion to attack. the terror, and then the freedom. His luck, because we're not hunters. Which hunter would resist the temptation if they had the perfect sight of the animal? Here, in the Mimosas region, 180 kilometers from Cuiabá, the capital of the state. These meetings are frequent and impressive. It's a privilege for those who have, in a quick spin around, the chance to see such rich fauna. The perfect balance between the species. Peace and pleasure is what you get from a morning sun back on these lakes. Dry this time of the year. It cheers up the eyes and pacifies the soul with the alligator's approval. Lazy, he surfs along the lake for a refreshing bath. And we can say he's in good company. Here, the elements complete one another. The Pantaneiro, our native men, 
know that his survival is directly related to the concepts of space and freedom. Nature with its rhythm generates the necessary energy to confront this rugged fight. Fight against those who in a moment of absolute power and cowardice take the life of helpless animals. If they allow hunting here, us, the sons of the region, won't see anything anyway. Because they come with good weapons, nice cars. They come here ready for it. We see a lot of wild animals. We see alligators, capivara, lontra, ariranha. Ariranha is a typical animal here. Everyone thinks it's very mean. But he comes here to see us. He comes very near. All because of the beauty of the Pantanal. During the 18 hours that we spend in the Mimoso area, where we simulated this hunt, we have received collaboration from the game keepers of Mato Grosso. Here, thousands of animals have been within the Helio Lopes precise range. What if our camera had been a gun? Mato Grosso, 1998. Local politicians approved alterations in the fishing activities and the protective measures concerning submarine fauna. The alterations protect fishermen who break the law by reducing fees and penalties, also raises the limits of fish that can be transported. In the 1998 law, the limit was 1,000 kilos per professional. They are now allowed up to 10,000 kilos of fish. Even with all the lobbying going for them, the state government vetoed the new edition of the law. But that's another story. Mato Grosso, 2000 and something. Lampai a filha, tamba aqui de metal.